welcome to savvy it solutions in this video we need to learn electricity bill practically already we discussed lcf ladder two previous videos so now we discuss critically four programs electricity bill class uptime grade uptime and quadratic roots of the quadratic equation now we are learning practically in these four programs in this video we will explain electricity bill okay electricity bill how we are calculating electricity bill so our goal is to give detailed explanation towards the program journey. okay here we are using turbo c++ editor for running c programs right so now i will start already it saved some name now initially i am putting some comments and i will make a table for better understanding okay according to that i will implement the entire program in a single se sequential way right so initially write a c program to calculate electricity bill with the given data so what number of units cost per unit okay these are the two things in between 0 to 50 i will give 2.11 sorry Two point one one. Okay, fifty one to hundred. Three point nine seven. One at one to two hundred. Five point one seven. Two at one to three hundred. Seven point two six three six quarter mil greater than three hundred nine rupee. Based on this information, we need to write the program. So initially, we need to use as include. We need to add header files. So stdio dot h and second one is conio dot h this is only for turbo c plus plus editor in windows means in windows what type of compilers we are using this is compatible means conio dot h is in ubuntu or mac conio dot h is not supported conio means console input output header file okay that is not supported in those editors Okay, so the next part is int. So units are in int type, and the bill is in the format of float rate. Okay, so clear the screen using CLR or CR. And now we are reading input as enter number of units is 
scan of percentage D and percent units. So the reading input is done. Now we are making using calculations to make it. So if units greater than equal to 50 rate is equal to units into 2.11 that is the first value we are making it so again else if units greater than equal to 100 rate is equal to units into 3 point nine seven sorry this 50 into 2.11 plus units minus 50 yes now exactly I am writing 5.17 next else if units greater than equal to 200 <coughs> rate is equal to 15 to 2.11 plus 15 to 3.97 plus units minus 100 into 5.17 ok so else if units greater than equal to 300 the value is 7.36 rate is equal to 50 into 2.11 plus 50 into 3.97 plus 100 into 5.17 plus units minus 200 no capital units minus 200 into 7.36 I think yes absolutely last one is the 9 so again else ok no else the rate is equal to 50 into 2.11 plus 50 into 3.97 plus 100 into 5.17 plus 100 into 7.36 plus units minus 300 into 9 rupee ok after this is completed so we need to print the LCT bill so print f the number of units 
percentage d comma units similarly the electricity bill percentage f comma rate okay finally get ch we need to compile the program one error indicated that is scan up okay so here the semi column is missing everything is fine f2 for saving control f9 for running it number of units are 100 wrong so 100 the number of units is 100 and the bill is 211 okay so here slash in slash in here one more slash in okay now 100 units the number of units are 100 the electricity bill is 211 point this many zeros so similarly it is one double line the calculation is changed similarly more than 300 so the units is different okay so this is the way the values are changed keep on changing the values okay so i think it gives little bit uh, wrong this is less than always the formula completely giving wrong results due to this okay. so now 100 it changes the value and less than 50 it gives different value okay and uh, 350 the value it is like that it changes okay thank you